Good morning. Welcome to Land Race Farm LGD Rescue. That's a livestock guardian dog. There's Pee Wee. He's about to tie me up. He's just super excited. He's starting to calm down a little bit. So he's, uh, we'll see how he does today. I haven't put many videos of Pee Wee up, so I have to make sure I do today. I gotta put this one up. He's marking. I'm not gonna bring him over there. Titan may not appreciate it. Paisley won't either. Pee-wee, he's cool. He's just a happy dog. I'm thinking he'll do good with the animals. Well, I don't want him to mix with the dogs yet. Or those dogs. <laughs> so, yeah, Pee Wee's just still learning. He, he's, he's taking a little bit to uh, calm himself down. He was a big jumper. He'd jump all over me. Knocked me around pretty good. He's a big boy. Name of Pee Wee, yeah. He's got to be over 150. I haven't checked this chart lately to see. But he's cool. He really is. They all are though. But he's pretty mellow overall. Once he calms himself down a little bit. He's pretty mellow. Big sweetheart too. Good boy, Pee Wee. He responds well to me on the lead here. And that's very important. He's marking pretty good, though. So I typically know what, that's how, what that means. He's a, a dominant one. So he's, he appears to be okay with the animals. I'll uh, test them out. In the next week or so. He's still got a lot to figure out. Don't want to put a lot on him at first. See, he's, he's got to figure that out even. Maybe the reflection. If he's not used... Sometimes when they're not used to it, they just don't know what to do. Tarzan, remember? He, uh, he was scared too. Almost the same reaction. Yeah, he's just sniffing around. Getting used to things. This is all very new to this dog, it appears. Which is kind of sad. But he, he appears to be still, still young. So, he has incredible potential. He's a big sweetheart. He responds well to me on the lead. Um, well, I was able to break him of the constantly jumping up. Nope. They're barking at you, silly. Yeah, he wants to he wants to get to work. 
that's for sure. I'm hoping he won't be here too much longer. Yeah. See, just a big sweetheart. Hi, hi, Pee Wee. He just loves, loves life. He trusts me a lot, so he's hanging with me a little bit. All the other dogs are going crazy. And probably in a few days I'll bring him around the sheep. See how he does at that point. The sheep had been around him when he's cabled. And he reacts very well. So yeah, he reacts good. He's showing potential. <laughs> he's a strong boy. Takes the lead pretty good, or lets me take the lead on him. And that's vital. Come on, dude. This way. This way. Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on. <laughs> A little acknowledgement there. That's good. See? before, a week or two ago, he would have jumped on me. Kind of like what Tarzan did, and kind of still does at times. And uh, he's too big and heavy for that. Even the small dog shouldn't be doing that. It's just not good. Making all the dogs go crazy. And that's normal. They just don't want to share. about the glove so he came to me as an Armenian gamper he's a bit big for that maybe a uh, Central Asian he looks kind of like that with the all white it don't matter He is uh, handsome, whatever he is. I had a big sweetheart. Hi. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Of course. <laughs> And again, this is teaching him that I'm his leader. I'm going to dictate his culture here. And he's accepting it. He's enjoying it. So it's good. It's very good.
Hopefully I can get this video up today. Or at, at some point. I might be trying a couple different internet carriers for out here. Already been through a few already. So it's a beautiful area. Has some challenges though, but that's fine. This, uh, the view I have every day and just the, this beautiful valley makes up for it. Nope. 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 We got no dogs coming up today, so that's good. Yeah, they're not gonna... I don't think they're gonna tease him too much. Those dogs aren't big dummies. So... <laughs> Yeah, this rope work I found to be extremely important with these dogs. It's teaching them who's in charge, teaching them boundaries. And uh, this is how I've been dictating culture. And the response has been outstanding. Because everybody knows there's no real guides for these dogs. So... I'll show you a way that I found that that really works well for me. Provide I'm able to get these dogs out rather quickly, and I'm grateful for that for the dogs because uh, yeah, this is not the place for all these dogs. So my task is to get them ready for whatever place. It is. So, anyway, well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, donate some if you can to help out these dogs. Thank you.